Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be explaining you about dimensionless numbers. Okay, in our hydraulics, we have five types of dimensionless numbers. These five types of dimensionless numbers are obtained by dividing inertia force with the other five forces. See, totally we have six forces acting in a moving fluid which is generally considered in model analysis or dimensional analysis. Totally we have six number of forces, inertia force, viscous force, gravity force, pressure force, surface tension force and elastic force. So in this six forces, inertia force is kept constant. So we divide inertia force with respect to the other five forces individually and hence we will be resulting in five non-dimensional parameters called as dimensionless numbers. They are called dimensionless numbers because you are dividing inertia force with the other force. So the units will get cancelled. Hence it will be resulting in a non-dimensional non or dimensionless number. Okay. So like that we have totally five numbers as I have told you. First one is Reynolds number, second one is Froude's number, third one is Euler's number, fourth one is Weber's number and the fifth one is Match number. Okay, some pronounce this as Mac also. It's up to you how do you pronounce. So let's start off with the first one, Reynolds number. Reynolds number is obtained by dividing inertia force to viscous force of the flowing fluid. As I've told you, for all the five numbers, inertia force will be kept constant. The denominator will change. So coming to Reynolds number, inertia force is the ratio, sorry, Reynolds number is the ratio of inertia force to viscous force. Okay, now let us try to uh, get out the mathematical formula for Reynolds number. I think you already know uh, the formula for Reynolds number as rho v d by mu. Correct? If dynamic viscosity is given. When kinematic viscosity is given, our Reynolds number is Vd by nu. Let's see how that formula has come. Okay. Right. So, let's talk about inertia force first. What is inertia force? It's the product of mass into acceleration of the fluid but acts in the direction opposite to the direction of flow. You know inertia, right? Inertia means something which is preventing. So, inertia force will be always opposite to the direction of the force like is our friction okay but mathematically this inertia force will be mass into acceleration the direction will be opposite but it is m into a so fi it is denoted by the symbol fi fi is equal to mass into acceleration of the flowing fluid which is equal to we have the formula of density what is density equal to mass by volume so from there Mass can be written as density into volume. That's what I've written. Density into volume into what is acceleration? It's rate of change of velocity or velocity with respect to time. So into velocity by time. Next, just I will shift this time here. Okay. So rho into volume by time into velocity. Now, what is volume with respect to time? It is discharge. Okay. The volume of fluid passing through a section in particular time is called as discharge meter cube per second right meter cube per second is discharge which is q which is equal to a into v so substitute rho into a into v into velocity v okay so finally i got fi as rho a v square so remember this value of inertia force why because for the other four numbers also this inertia force is the same the numerator is the same as i've told you so let's take the same value everywhere so it's rho a v square let's uh, next let's talk about viscous force viscous force is equal to where does this viscosity come into action or viscous force come into action when we are dealing with the property of viscosity there we had shear stress tau shear stress is equal to shear force or viscous force divided by area so from there i can write viscous force as shear stress into area so it is, is equal to tau into a but what is tau according to Newton's law of viscosity? Mu into du by dy. So mu into du by dy into a which is mu into 
du means velocity so v by dy is some displacement or some thickness which is l into a so finally our fv equal to mu into v into a by l so according to our formula or according to our definition of reynolds number it is fi by fv so fi i got rho a b square by fv just now we got mu into v into a by l so here your a a will get cancelled one v one v will get cancelled so you will be left with rho v l by mu this l is the linear dimension so if you have when you are considering pipe flow you can write it is rho v d by mu so understood how we got the formula so if i send this rho to the denominator it becomes v l by mu by rho so mu by rho is kinematic viscosity so i can write <coughs> I, so mu by rho is kinematic viscosity so i can write reynolds number as v l by nu okay this is how we have to solve for reynolds number now let's go for the second one another important number froude's number this froude's number plays a major role in non uniform flow in open channels whereas your reynolds number is useful to determine whether it is laminar or turbulent flow froude's number is useful in analysis of non uniform flow especially specific energy so froude's number is defined as the square root of inertia force to gravity force okay so remember from here the other set of four including froude's number froude's number euler's number weber's number and match number will have square root of okay so inertia force is equal to rho a b square as i have told you remember the formula gravity force what is gravity force equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity what is mass again rho into volume as i have told you why because density is mass by volume so from there mass is equal to density into volume volume is product of three dimensions so i'll write l cube into g i will break down l cube as l square into l so l square stands for a area so i can write fg as rho a lg so according to the definition of froude's number it is the square root of inertia force to gravity force so under root of rho a v square by rho a lg rho rho will get cancelled a a will get cancelled you will be left with under root of v square by lg so root of v square will be v by root of lg will be lg only so this is the formula for froude's number if you remember in open channels it will be taught as v by root gd or v by root gl the same this is how you need to analyze for froude's number next is euler's number so euler's number is again the square root of inertia force to pressure force of a flowing fluid as usual we have inertia force as rho a v square pressure force how to get the value of pressure force we have a formula pressure is equal to force by area so from there i can write force as pressure into area so it's p into a so according to the definition of euler's number it's square root of fi by fp so it's rho a v square by p into a a a will get cancelled you will be left with under root of rho v square by p send this p downwards so it will be under root of v square by p by rho uh, so under root of v square will be v v by under root of p by rho is called as euler's number let's go for the next one which is weber's number so weber's number is defined as square root of inertia force of a flowing fluid to the surface tension force inertia force is the same which is rho a v square surface tension force fs is equal to do you remember the formula of or the definition of surface tension surface tension is the tensile force acting per unit length so sigma surface tension is generally denoted by the symbol sigma so sigma is equals to tensile force by length so from there what will be the tensile force sigma into l that's what is surface tension force so according to the definition of weber's number w e weber's number is denoted by the symbol w e under root of fi by fs which is equal to under root of uh, what is fi rho a v square by sigma into l so a can be written as l square l square so 1 l 1 l will get cancelled so you'll be left with under root of rho into l into v square by sigma then send this rho and l downwards 
will be left with under root of v square by sigma by rho l so under root of v square will be v by under root of sigma by rho l this is the formula for froude's number so let's go for the last one which is match number match number is defined as the square root of inertia force to elastic force of a flowing fluid as usual inertia force is rho a v square elastic force will be elastic stress into area you remember shear force shear force will be shear stress into area similarly elastic force will be elastic stress into area i don't know the formula of elastic stress say some k say some value whatever it may be so i am th thinking to be k uh, into a into area i can write this as k into l square or else you can just leave it with a also why because our a and a will get cancelled but i have written k into l square no issues so according to the definition of match number it is under root of inertia force to elastic force so substitute both the values under root of rho a v square by k into l square again a to be written as l square this l square this l square will get cancelled you will be left with under root of rho v square by k send the rho downward it will be under root of v square by k by rho so under root of v square will be v v by root of k by rho this is how you need to solve for match number okay so uh, i will summarize totally we have five types of dimensionless numbers reynolds number froude's number euler's number weber's number and match number these five numbers are obtained from six kinds of forces where one force inertia force will be kept constant and it will be divided individually by the other five types of forces resulting in five dimensionless numbers hope you understood this video and thank you